good morning everybody, it's Thursday the 6th of August today and we're going to do a walkthrough of the shops in Cleveland Town Centre and I'm going to tell you about the plans for pedestrianisation, temporary pedestrianisation. I've just been watching that big grey cloud and hoping that it's not going to rain because about an hour ago it was lovely, really sunny, really nice, lovely day and then all at once the sky went that colour. So it's blowing off the sea so let's uh, Let's hope it brightens up by the time we get to the other end of the high street. <clears throat> so this is the side of town where all the pubs and restaurants and cafes are. So let me just turn around. Over there, down there. There is Weatherspoons. There's loads of different um, cafes and takeaways. There's Mr Nitro's ice cream there and various other different ones. There's a sandwich shop there. There's a a cafe here at the side of the post office. Here's the oh, here's somebody getting a ticket. Here's the NatWest Bank on this corner, which is working funny hours at the minute. Um, my my darling husband queued an hour <laughs> a few weeks ago to go in the bank. Please pay my backs. <laughs> it's much easier. So this is Cleveland Square at the crossing for the tramway so we're going to just dodge across here while the lights are at green <clears throat> so this is the tramway the shops continue down both sides of this junction this is the crescent um, Forsyth's is, is no longer open there's a new sandwich shop down there just behind the bus um, dentists hairdressers solicitors and obviously the bank and just let me get my get my bearings right so that's the tramway to Blackpool and that way is to Fleetwood right so there are the other shops down there and they go to the church which you can just see the steeple but all along Russell Road there are small clusters of shops where there's sort of three or four in a in a patch. So we'll just dodge across here before the traffic comes. So this is Victoria Road West, otherwise known as the centre of the universe. Because Cleveland is always busy. It's such a busy town centre. Um, it's an amazing place to live and because because it's busy, I mean you can see how many people are about, because it's busy we've got the plan for temporary pedestrianisation. So before we get to that bit, this is the Scottish Meat Market, recently reopened and when I say recently I mean yesterday. Um, British Art Foundation's obviously having some work done, the Armourod solicitors on that corner is a new one in the old... Um, I'm just trying to think which bank it was. Was it Royal Bank of Scotland, I think? Obviously, the tramway comes in the middle of here. You've just seen that. It's a, a busy, busy spot. And here's the siren. You've always got a siren. So you can see that this pavement is actually wide here. Pause for the siren. That's new as well, that um, gift shop. I've not seen that one before. Yeah, the pavement is wide here, so it's not too bad when people are wanting to queue, as they were doing just then for the TSB bank. This block paving from there to there is local authority highway, so that's under the jurisdiction of Lancashire County Council. But the pavement here, where it's an odd mishmash of colours and patterns and shapes in front of the shops is actually the land that belongs to the shops themselves. So there's another queue here for the Santander down the edge of the pavement. That's a bit, a bit precarious. Um, <coughs> bus stop and Marks and Spencer's. So you've potentially got three quite long queues there, which is a bit of an issue. Coffee bar, they do a, a lovely cup of coffee. I can highly recommend that. Um, that's just recently been reopened and um, 
but they've gone into that left hand shop so if you go down this alley here I'm just walking a little bit further you come to Aldi Aldi is actually closed at the moment there you go there's also a little car park at the back of here for Marks and Spencers um, Aldi's closed because it's having a, an extension done and it's being refitted so that opens I think it's sometime November-ish October November not sure when so I've paused here because this is where we come to the bit where we've got the pedestrianisation issue. I mean, as you can see at the other side of the road, the pavement is quite narrow and you get a couple of kills, a tribe of people, and it's just not wide enough for people to pass safely. So the plan is that there will be a temporary roadblock put across the road here so it will be closed from where the clock is yeah, that clock it will be closed from there right down to the other end of the high street can you see just above that lorry um you can just see the top of the sea swallow sculpture i'll just zoom in and you'll be able to see it you can just see the top of it at the now the bus has gone in the way <laughs> so i told you it's like grand central station cleveland it's always like this you just see the top of it there can you see it just above the the top of the van right so the roadblock is going to go down to the clock shelter and i'll show you when we get to that end so all of this central part of cleveland will become pedestrianized and it can all be used for people to spread out move and shop safely i mean well it's busy can't say any other can you the sun's gone in and it's a bit bit well it's not a cracking the flags kind of day but there's just not space for everybody to do everything that they need to do so the taxi ranks are going to stop here outside wilkinson's where they already are and then all this piece of road here will become space for people to spread out so shops that uh cathy's will be able to apply for pavement licenses so at this side of the road for example pound bakery could have one if they wanted to the regal hotel costa coffee um there's vincent's cafe here in the shipwreck these have already got this this here this this paving flag is the only bit that's actually local authority pavement so you can see the problem and why it's an issue so the bus is stuck now because we've got a lorry loading unloading rather we've got taxis turning the bus can't get through and meanwhile there's people trying to cross the road and trying to go about the business so it's, it's i mean you know we've got a serious health issue going on in the world and it's just so busy I mean, you can see there's quite a lot of people with masks on outside. I've got a mask on. And frankly, you need one on. And the pavement at this side of the road is very narrow. Um, <clears throat> so it will, make a, it will make a difference. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that Cleveland is busy. It should be busy. We've worked hard to make it busy. And it grieves me that our work that had made such a difference. I mean, look at the plant parties. It's looking all neglected. And all the work that all the volunteers had done to keep it looking nice is just, well, going to part because people have not been doing volunteering work. So for example, Family Bakery uh, wanting a pavement license so that they can put some tables and chairs outside their shop because they've lost a lot of capacity inside the shop it's not a big shop to start with so this will all i mean look at the queue outside the halifax they're all stood waiting on the pavement people are trying to walk through the middle you only need a, a family and it's just well busy so this is going to be closed off here at this end and the plan is to relocate the disabled parking bays which are outside 
from my bakery and butchers and put them on here on this side of the road so that anybody that needs direct access to the town centre can have a drop off and here again you see we come back to another part where there's a, a wider pavement from the um, fact that these 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 pieces of land that are paved in different colours these were the gardens of the houses that were originally on Victoria Road West so this piece of pavement is actually the local authority pavement but it makes the pavement wider on this side of the road than it is on the other side of the road because you can see how narrow it is there outside car factory where that, that lady's just walking now so this road here Slater Road will also be closed off at the end and the plan at the moment this is this is not a road traffic order has not been done yet so that's the next step and the current plan is that the road traffic order blocks this road at this end and then these two end parking spaces are closed to make a turning head and people can park on both sides of the road down there and it becomes a, a two-way street so the road closure continues down here it closes here because obviously there's no traffic coming down the main road and then the loading and taxi bays are left in place at the end of here but this becomes a two-way street so that there's access for people to come in and out I'd just like to say that these are provisional plans as discussed at our meeting last week and the road traffic order has not actually been put in yet so when Lancashire County Council actually get to a point of approving it there may be changes made and things may be altered so this is not necessarily casting tablets of stone but we will keep you updated and this is going to be closed off as well where this this little grey car is and the same here so the end two parking spaces will be closed to make a turning point and then you can park on there as well free on street parking so all these cafes will be able to apply for um, pavement licenses which have just been through government it's a, a brand new pavement license that's easier to apply for and, and get so these will all be able to have um, licenses to trade outside when it's nice weather bearing in mind that I mean you can see how many tables they've taken out of the marina it's a no it's a big cafe um, but only operating at a significantly reduced capacity so the closure is going to end somewhere around about this big dustbin and the roundabout here will be completely unaffected so you'll still be able to drive around, come around here, do whatever it is that you want to do so it's going to make a, it's going to make a significant difference and as I said it's being done for a reason of public safety at this point it's not just a case of oh let's try it and see what happens there's, you can see for yourself there's just not enough space it's too busy so it's going to make a, a big difference but it's also an opportunity to try out something that has been mooted many times over the years and see whether or not it does work because it gives Cleveland's I'll turn I'll carry on walking while I tell you the rest of the little bit of the story because it gives Cleveland's an opportunity to try out um, a different way of operating that potentially will improve the town centre because obviously we're all shopping online I mean you can see it's busy but you can't rest on your laurels town centres all over the country uh, struggling and they've got shops shutting left right and centre 
and you can't rest on your laurels and say because it's busy on Thursday the 6th of October that it, um, August even that it's going to be busy every day for forever amen because you know we've established that everything's changing so that's what's happening it's a, a temporary closure at this point if it's successful it could be extended if there are any teething problems and any issues that need addressing once it's actually implemented then they'll be addressed and you know we've all got to just work together and try and make it work to secure the, t the future of our town centre because it matters that Cleveland stops like it is this morning and doesn't become a ghost town like so many others all over the country so that's today's that's today's lecture <laughs> um, so don't forget to, to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications loads of videos to come and loads of different things for you um, to see from all your different file course places please sign up as well for our weekly email newsletter and then you'll find out about all this kind of stuff and don't forget if you've got any questions or comments pop them underneath the video and we will do our very best to answer you you'll have a lovely day now see you later bye